Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for Lightroom, I'm going to show you how to create this lovely soft haze effect very quickly and easily. I've also made a completely free preset that will apply this effect to your images and you can download that from the website. The link is in the description below and you can download that, install it and do that in one simple click. So let's crack on now and take a look at how we can actually create this lovely soft effect. So to start off, first thing we need to do is go to the basics panel in the develop module. And from there, we're just going to make a couple of simple tweaks to soften this down and get rid of some of the additional contrast in it to give that nice starting point for the soft haze effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is reduce the contrast right around about 30, 35. That's going to give us a good starting point. Reduce the overall contrast in the image and soften things out a little bit. When we've done that, I'm going to boost the highlights ever so slightly so we can really start to make those pop out a little bit more. I'm not going to go crazy with these. I'm going to take it up by about 10 or 15, whichever works the best for this particular image. That's looking pretty good. I like that. And then we're going to soften the whites and the blacks a little as well. So let's just take those down, reduce those by about 10 or 15. I'm not going to go crazy. And the same for the blacks. Not too much on there. That's looking quite good. So we've got rid of some of that contrast in the image. We've softened it down a little bit. Next thing we want to do is just reduce some of the presence. So we're going to take the clarity and we're going to reduce that ever so slightly. And that'll start to introduce a little bit of a soft filter effect. Don't want to go mad with this because we start to lose the detail. But about five, five or six, maybe up to ten, depending upon the image you're working with, should be more than enough. And we're going to reduce the amount of color in there as well. So we're going to use the vibrance first of all. Take that down. By about 10 or 15, that should be more than enough for this image. And the same again then for the saturation. So we'll reduce that down a little bit until we get just a nice reduction in color. So there we go. So there's our initial edits. So we've reduced the contrast, softened the image, muted the blacks a little bit and reduced some of the color in there. So let's take a look at the next step to get this exactly where we want it with this soft haze effect. So the next step for this effect is to move into the tone curve. Now you need to make sure that you're working in the linear point curve mode. If you're not, you just need to click on the little symbol in the right hand corner and you can see it switches between the two different modes we have available. So we're in this mode, we can now manually adjust the histogram itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of points on there. We're going to create a very gentle curve. We're also going to take up the dark areas in the image and just open those up a little bit more. So I'm going to add a couple of points in. I'm not going to worry too much where they are at the moment. I'd add extra three points in there, and we can start editing this. Now, I'm going to come to the very first point in the shadow area, in the dark area. So I'm going to lift that up by about a sixth of the image. We're not going to go crazy with that. And then we're going to create this gentle curve just by adjusting these points. Don't want to go crazy. We just want to apply that sort of softness to the image to get some of that haze effect in there. If you accidentally put an additional point in there, we just press Control and Z or Command and Z to undo that. Come back in and start editing those points again. So we can quickly and easily create these this soft effect. So there we go. We're pretty good with that. That's going to be where I want to be. The next thing we want to do is apply a split tone to the image so we can bring the color that we want to bring into it, which is a sort of warm, yellowy kind of tone to it. So let's jump over to the split toning section. And the first one is we're going to take the first for the highlights, and we're just going to bring those into the yellow areas, the orangey yellow colors. So we're going to take that over until we get those colors we want, around about the 40, 45, maybe as far as 50, depending upon the image. Let's go for about 45, and we can come back and tweak if we need to anyway. 43, 45, that's fine. Saturation, again, I don't want to go crazy with this, so we're just going to introduce a little bit of saturation into it. Now remember, this is only affecting the highlights. We're not affecting the shadows, so we can be in control of exactly what's going on here. That's looking pretty good. We've got that sort of that lovely summery tint to it. We've got brought in some sort of warm orangey yellows into the overall picture. So the next up, we're going to go into the shadow area, and we're going to do the same kind of thing, but we're just going to keep the saturation just a little bit lower. So we're going to come up to about 44, 45 again. Um, but this time for the saturation, we're going to keep this really, really low. Around about four or five should be more than enough. So there we go. Let's take a look at a before and after by enabling and disabling this so we can see where we were. So this is the original color, which you can see is quite cool and doesn't really have that nice hazy warmth to it. 
Once we put the split toning in there, it's not a crazy color, but it does introduce that nice warmth into the image. Now you can take this one step further if you want to. I tend to like to bring in a little bit of focal uh, arrangement, should we say, where I use the effects panel, and I'll just put in a small amount of vignetting just to draw the attention into the subject of the image. And again, before and after. It's quite subtle, but it does help you focus on the overall image itself. So there it is. That's how we create that nice summary haze effect that really can soften down the images and give it a lovely glow. So before I end this video, let's just quickly compare the two images where we opened it up and where we are now so we can see exactly what the comparison is between the two. So as you can see, the look at the image on the left hand side is quite cool, quite a strong foot contrast image and on the right hand side we've got a lovely warm summary looking image that has a nice soft haze effect to it. So there we go, that's how we create that nice haze effect. If you'd like to download the preset, the link is in the description below, it's completely free, just download that and install it into Lightroom and you can apply this effect with one click. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. We'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below and we try to answer every single comment you post. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store, 8 Essential Adobe Lightroom Techniques, where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. Link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.